guess what today is? Today is Unboxing Thursday. Yes, an unboxing, or my like, more like a untubing. So stand by. I've been a backslider. I'm backsliding. I shouldn't be a backslider. Father, forgive me for backsliding. All righty, I'm glad you stuck with me. Yes, excuse me for being a backslider. If you don't know what I mean, I'll explain. Let me start unboxing. But let me first start off with thank you very, very much for your patronage on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. And the reason I say that is what's in this tube is partially purchased for your enjoyment and mine via the pennies I accumulate from the sales on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. That's how us YouTubers many times do it. Yes, I put that link up in every single video in the video description, and it's my Amazon Tools of the Trade page. Tools of the Trade of Fishing, Charter Fishing, knives, stuff for your boat, stuff for your gas tank, all different types of stuff that I recommend and I've done reviews on. So with that little bit of money, I turn it around into a, a review video for you so you are more knowledgeable, just like me, because the curiosity has gotten me over the last, I don't know, what would you say, maybe six months. So let me unbox this and show you what I got. At least they packaged them correctly. Not like one time I got stuff like this from Amazon and it came in a little dinky triangular box and when I pulled them out the guides were all bent thank God they were ugly tough guides so whoo they're up in there they're up in there or is this the wrong side let me open up this side and check it out using the Cold steel, all blacked out, all serrated. Recon one. I bet you you were waiting to see the cold steel tiger claw, weren't you? Well, I've did a little finagling and found that beauty for next to nothing on eBay. And you don't see a fully serrated blacked out cold steel recon one very often so I snagged it so this ought to be the end Woo yes it is I said who let them dogs out I said who let them dogs out here they come walking down the street do, 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 do. Go and fish it at the jetty. Hey, hey, it's the jetty wolf. All right, here's the paperwork. I will be ordering from these people again. Buffalo Gap Outrider, Outfitters and Hattiesburg, Mississippi. So I will be ordering from them again, but I actually ordered them off of Amazon and the main store was in Pennsylvania so I don't know I thought it was in Pennsylvania maybe it was Hattiesburg Mississippi these things only took like 10 days to go 
three states. Is that three states? Florida, Alabama, Mississippi. Three, three states. So let me show you what we're doing here. I'm backslider. I'm a backslider. And I'm a sliding back with this purchase. I just couldn't stand it. You know what I mean? Okay, got to check out the eyes. Okay, here we go. Say to yourself, what you got there, Dave? I always get so excited when I got new tackle. Ooh, I'm already loving this. Let me show you what this is. Here you go. Daiwa beef stick. They redesigned the entire beef stick. All right. Beef sticks used to be such a heavy, clumsy rod. But this is a Daiwa beef stick. Look at how nice. Look at how nice. This is a super light one. It doesn't have the ugly tough guides or anything like that. It's got just regular ceramic type guides. This is the 701MB ugly stick beef, or look at me, ugly stick. That just comes out of my mouth. This is the Daiwa beef stick rod. Nice, look at little metal accents there. Flat grip in the front. Look at that flat grip right there. No gimbal, but it's got a cork butt. Let me take this off. Ooh, and a Daiwa free sticker. You know, besides an ugly stick, I got a thing for Daiwa. What will be going on here will be my Daiwa Ryogas. No trigger, doesn't matter to me. Graphite reel seat with metal hoods, black metal hoods. All right, let's get this out a little bit more than the workshop here and let me go over it for you. All right, got you clamped up to the Chum Meister on the back of the Jetty Wolf. Let me have a little swig of PBR okay Daiwa beef stick very very nice they say almost indestructible what does this tip remind you of what does this tip remind you of well I'll show you Ugly stick tiger. Look at the tip. What does this remind you of? Yes, sir. So, the reason I got these is I can't get a straight word or anything out of Ugly Stick. On their website, I've sent them emails or anything. I'm on their pro what they call it, Pro Select Angler Program. And I see nothing but ugly sticks. Unavailable, unavailable, unavailable. And all my tiger rods, I was ready to order four new tiger rods from Pure Fishing slash Ugly Stick Shakespeare. And unavailable, unavailable, unavailable. So that's the reason when you people out there in YouTube world ask me, where do you get those rods? 99% of the time, I'm just going to tell you, UglyStick.com. That's where I get mine. Okay. So, I couldn't, I didn't get a word from them. I lost my password to my account. I don't know what my password to my account was. They rebuilt their entire website on uh, Ugly Stick, uh, Shakespeare, Hardy, Waiters, or uh, 
fly fishing equipment, Berkeley, Sabeel, all their website is all one website now. It's not broken down, all right? So during the China plague, everything changed. Their production or something went totally hell in a handbag, all right? And I just can't get a word from them, so I couldn't order rods off of the program that I belong to through them. <clears throat> so I figured, hey, what a perfect time to check out the brand new, I think this came out in 2019, redesigned Daiwa Beef Stick. This is about a $46 rod. It's not an expensive rod. I refuse to use mega expensive rods anymore. Mega expensive reels, that's a whole nother deal. I'm into expensive reels, but you don't pay that. You contact Dave and you say, hey, I'm interested in that same reel you got, and I'll tell you how to get it cheap, all right? So, these are a little bit different. I could stick my blue handled Daiwa Ryoga jigging on these beef sticks and they're pretty light short grip I can notice a difference already they wind down from the top the ugly stick uh, tigers wind up from the bottom take a look at that I know we don't have the best light but I'm also going to show you some actual fishing action with these all right look at the light little tip light like little tip I mean these are gonna work out for me I believe these will work out for me not as beefy as a handle right the handles there it is comparatively beef stick here shorter lot shorter foregrip these are definitely made I mean, these are definitely for my customers. They need this. They need a heavier, beefy rod. I love them. I absolutely love the Tiger Rod. Like I say, I bleed Ugly Stick. I bleed Tiger. Okay? So, I'm actually using an 8-foot Tiger 2-piece absolute willow stick. I'm use, I've been using that. That's going to be my float rig rod. But... I am very happy that I checked out the new redesigned Ugly or Daiwa Beef Stick. Let me just read the label here to you. It's got an integrated solid tip. So this tip is going to be like an Ugly Stick. It's solid, solid, just like an Ugly Stick. Composite matte graphite blank so it's a graphite blank Daiwa hard EVA grips with laser engraved logo yeah it says Daiwa in in the foam the foam handle just like on some of the ugly stick uh, stripers and catfish it'll say ugly stick in the foam I'm really liking this. I'm really liking it. It's got a little accents, which is very nice. I can dig it without the gimbal. For my use, I don't need uh, the gimbal. It's nice to have, but I don't need it. Oh, yeah. Very light. Very different than the beef stick they used to make. Let's see if I can do this without breaking it. There you go, folks. There's the bend. Really good bend. Parabolic. Very parabolic bend. When I run, my, I bend it. I can feel it bending down here in this hand. So, all you need now is the wind to stop blowing 20 knots from the east and the southeast and all that hooey. I already went out to this morning. It was blowing like hell. Did a little two-hour kids trip with a little kid that was cute as a button. Sorry I didn't take no pictures, didn't do no video. But we
we caught the hell out of jacks and we caught some nice mangrove snappers. He was happy, happy, happy. Little five-year-old boy, his parents and his grandma. And then I rescheduled today because I had a guy coming down from near Savannah, Georgia, who was gonna come down and we were gonna take off at 10 after the two hour kids trip. So I rescheduled it. We were supposed to maybe do it Thanksgiving, but now we're definitely on for December 21st. Yeah, it's a long ways away, but I didn't wanna take somebody who had a three hour ride just to get here this morning out in this weather. It's a beautiful day. It's just blowing like holy hell. And it's all to, to do with Hurricane Zeta, I guess. That was about, I think, hurricane and or tropical storm number five that slammed the holy grail of inshore fishing, Louisiana. Went right through over New Orleans. But good thing is, I have a friend, as his sister lives in uh, New Orleans, and she lost her power for four or five hours, and that was about it. It was a quick, quick moving storm. So uh, I'll show you some fishing footage on this as soon as I can get out there. Until then, a Daiwa Ryoga is going on here, and you'll see it in action when I get out on the water. So thanks for watching. Stay for the fishing review part of this video. I just thought of something. I didn't tell you the specs on the model that I bought. The model I bought is a 701 MB. And the specs on it, of course, it's a seven foot rod. Well, actually the real model is a BSS 701 MB. It's a seven foot length, one piece, lure weight, half to two ounce and I'll be dropping four to six on this thing and no problem and the line weight is 10 to 20 pounds and you know what I'm gonna go ahead and publish this video because I'm excited for you to check out beef stick Th thank you very much for your patronage on my Amazon tools of the trade page uh, that bought one of these rods and I bought two of them so I really appre appreciate Everybody checking things out on my Tools of the Trade page. It helps keep reviews like this going. You don't realize it, but I get pennies off of Amazon. So when I get a quarter here, it piles up, okay? And I got about, I don't know, it took a month or two, three months, I don't know. But it takes a little while for all that to compile. And I was able to purchase one of these, and I bought two, of course, because I do everything in one, more than one. I don't buy one of anything. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and publish this video because I'm excited about them. Let's see what else it happens to say. Nothing really. One year limited warranty on it. That's about it. Um... I'll put all the information, of course, that I just said on here, and I'll probably go ahead and put these on my Amazon Tools of the Trade page because it is an alternative. It's a little bit lighter of a rod, but it is an alternative to a Ugly Stick Tiger. It doesn't have the Ugly Tough guides. They are ceramic, black ceramic. There's tip plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven plus tip. That's about standard. And uh, very, very lightweight. So I'm liking them. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to post this video on my YouTube channel for you all to see. All right. I'll show it to you. There's the Daiwa, there's the cork handle. Beef stick, nice blue accents. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got that wound looking um, texture almost to the blank. There's one of the guides, just plain ceramic. 
like I said, these aren't expensive rods and uh, they're just an alternative. If you can't get what you want through Ugly Stick to their demise, I don't know what's going on. Their Facebook page is full blown and I've asked them a hundred times, I don't know, on their Facebook page. Are you in business? Are you selling products or not? I mean, I don't know what the China plague did to them but for some reason, they're just not like they were. Things probably came back into stock and they're just pumping them as fast as they can to their distributors. But still you go to like Walmart and things and stuff that would have been normally on the racks. Like the Walmart I go to is just slap full of those nasty, terrible GX2 rods. I don't like them at all. Never liked the GX2s. But there's nothing from Pure Fishing really on the shelves of Walmart even. Uh, I've seen a couple of their brand new carbon rods. Carbon rod? It's a bass rod. Little light, little light rod with those micro looking guides and all. But that's not my style. So I'm all about saltwater fishing, if you don't know, and you're checking this out. But good alternative for me, good alternative. Nice bend in it. That's what I look for, parabolic bend. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish this video anyhow, and you'll eventually see these on the boat with a Daiwa Ryoga doing some fish pulling and uh, I will make a video for that also so thanks for watching let's go ahead and we're just gonna publish this comment below don't forget to comment give it a like give it a thumbs up the algorithm for this wacko Chinese credit score that YouTube does is all about giving it a like it's all for the algorithm everybody says it but i mean who doesn't want to know about the redesigned daiwa beef stick this has surf casting models all kinds they got spinners this is a casting version i don't do spinners so these are going to be my personal rods i'll see you on the next one Thanks for watching.